Welcome to the eMedia tutorial that will show you how you can contribute your own resources to the collection. There are a couple tools that will help you do this. First off, you'll want to make sure that you are logged in. You'll see the ability to create up here at the top. I'll click the create button to show you the different options that you have. There's the resource builder, the lesson builder built for K-12, and the module builder which is built for higher ed. In this tutorial, we'll cover the resource builder and the lesson builder. Start by clicking start authoring. This gives you the ability to start building and creating a resource that you can share with others. I can type and build the information here and add different headings. The editor up here gives you all the options that you'll need to build and create your resource. I can add links, text, math equations. If you already have the resource built, you can also use this option to import the, the document from Google Docs. Next, I need to describe the resource. So this is the information about what I just built. As I submit the resource, I need to assign a license about how I'm going to allow others to use my content. I'll allow them to modify, no commercial use. This gives me the Creative Commons license that it, um, informs users on how to use my content. I click publish and my resource is now available. If someone else wanted to use my resource, I could click remix and it would allow me to create a new resource based on what was there previously. I can also download this or add it to my Google Classroom. Now let's talk about the lesson builder. Click start building. This is more of a lesson plan as opposed to a specific resource. You should use this resource. I can add, say go to NetSafe Utah. And also give them tasks to do. Here's what the teacher should do. Also, here's what the student should do. So this is cool because you can see this uh, from both perspectives. So I'll click save. You can preview what a teacher would see on eMedia. Or I can preview what this would look like for a student. This is pretty cool because it can guide them through. I can also add collaborators and also describe the resource so that others can find it useful. When I'm ready, I can click Publish Lesson, and this makes it available for others to use and also reuse. If you need any additional help, you can email emedia at uen.org.